Is that the best that you can do? On short notice. Next time, phone ahead. Next time, I'll take the stairs. Have it your way. No, no, wait. Life is a compromise, Miss Dodd. Oh, let me be the first to wish you a Merry Christmas. Well, you are, Davy. You know it is September? Well, it's never too soon to remind you to set aside a few extra saw bucks for your friendly building employees come Yuletide. What's that? Oh, no, that ain't a new poem, is it? You want a Christmas gift? You listen to my poetry. That's the deal. Oh, geez. I'm running 102 fever and my back's killing me. Now you're going to drive me right into the turlet with that stuff? It's part one of a trilogy, tentatively entitled Empty Rooms. Swollen, sunken, you see me, piecemeal, oatmeal, ravaged shape against a ghostly wall, tears and wine, and your mortar thighs clasping me, enveloping me, and losing me, loosening me, adrift in nighttime's tomb. That's part one, huh? Yeah, of a trilogy. Mm. So we have two more parts to look forward to, do we? Yes, we do. Oh, what do you think? It's amorphous, if you want to know the truth. You see, it fluctuates between your erotic and your grotesque without being one or the other. And those thighs, what do they represent? Passion, sterility, parental influence, sexual repression, what? Now, I'm getting a whole bucket full of mixed messages there, and uh, I think on the whole it could be crisper and meatier. You mean like bacon? Oh, hey, if it was like bacon, it'd be fine. He was a homo, you knew where he stood. No, yours ain't neither fish nor fowl. You ever gonna learn how to land this machine? Oh, don't transfer your anger. It's immature. Just bend your knees. Oh, I like that piecemeal oatmeal pot. Yeah, that was good. 